moose here. As you know, if you've seen my other video on my log splitter fail, my head came off. Uh, probably crystallized the metal, but the single head was a little wobbly, and I didn't like it. So here's a design. I'm gonna try. I'll keep you posted on it. A um, little different. So what we have here is I've got a, a box that's roughly the size of my beam, which is six inches wide, 12 inches tall. It's a uh, three-quarter inch thick I-beam. And I'm going to make this out of a one-inch plate. And we're going to have our two uprights, one on each side of the beam. And I'm going to have them go all the way down so I can weld them and bolt them into the beam, which the beam already is boxed uh, from previous attempts. So I'm taking out the twisting because I'm not having a, a single beam, a single blade right in the middle. I've got one on each side. Uh, of course, we'll sharpen them so that the uh, smooth here and the, the bevel will go this way. Um, and then I've got, see how we've got it uh, notched in so that on the big logs, we'll be starting the cut at the top and at the bottom. So we kind of try and open the wood up first before we get into the whole thing. So we just get a little relief there. And then what I've done... That I've set this one back an inch from this one so that this one's going to hit the cut first and then this one will come in an inch later. Uh, kind of like, you know, take some tonnage off of my cylinder by first split, second split, starting to open the wood up. Um, then I've got this blade here, um, which is 10 inches up, so it'll give me a 6 inch by 10 inch log. Our block, which will fit my stove good, and this is canted up at about a 10 degree angle, so that when it comes through here, uh, there's relief and it, it doesn't bind. So then again, the uh, the, the, the slicing, the, the knife will be angled up, and this will just pop out. And this will give me a six inch by whatever uh, piece, and I can take that piece, run it back down through here if need be and take it into a six inch by six inch block then I'll have my two sides left over. Now these wings um, these are ten inch wings and I've got them it's hard to see but I have them sloped back so they're this is a cutting edge they're sloped back so it'll push the log down um, and they're sloped forward so this front edge will cut into the log first, uh, and it's an inch back here. So we're, we're starting the cut, opening the wood up before we get into the full split. Same on this side. And then again, I've staggered these in depth so that not all the blades are hitting at once. They're all, you're going to hit this blade, then this blade, then this blade, then this blade, then that blade. So it, it takes some tonnage off. And we're, doing, we're using a 45 ton cylinder, uh, 3,000 PSI. So this, uh, here's a back view. And I'm going to drill it so I can put in another of these center splits if I want to. We'll see how it performs, but I'll put some uh, holes for dowel pins. I'll put another one in here. And then possibly I'll, I'll put some dowel pins so we can put wings here too if it, if it will take the stress. It's another reason why I angled these sloping downward, so if I put another wing here, this wing will be sloping up and we'll have relief in the cut on these sides, which I've, I've done found if you, if you have all these flat, it just binds. So you've got to have some um, relief on the back side, at least a quarter inch, the more the merrier. So I prefer a half inch of relief. So, you know, if the front is, is eight inches, the back needs to be nine inches or at least eight and a half for nine opening on the back side. Um, here, I'm not going to have any relief here because my my, my cutting edge is going to be coming out this way and so this will just be a nice clean smooth block coming through. I won't be pinching. And again, this is relieved uh, from uh, ten inches in the back to uh, ten and three quarter, or ten inches in the front, ten, ten and three quarter in the back. 
so I've got room for that wood to breathe when it comes out. So that's it. Uh, we'll see how it comes out and we'll do a few videos of me uh, making it. And that's my second idea. Alright, so I've been thinking about my design here and I've decided to add, to change my geometry a little bit and put this opener, if you will, in for the smaller logs and for the biggers. But with this, I, I was feeling I was getting, I was going to get too much climb on the smaller logs. So on something small, it's going to pinch it down into the blade and some medium is going to poke into it so the log won't ride up or down you know it'll, it'll stay in focus um, so i'm going to add this to each side uh, and give that thing a just a little bit better profile for grabbing the log so we'll see how that turns off and at worst case i can always just cut it off but it's easier to to cut the plate with that in it than it is to try and add it